Pope Francis has begun his tour of the Asia-Pacific, starting in Indonesia, where he plans to hold interfaith meetings to promote harmony between Catholics and one of the world's largest Muslim populations. The 87-year-old Pope landed in Jakarta, where he was greeted by children and members of the church. Catholics make up only 3% of the population of Indonesia. During his visit, the Pope will visit a mosque and hold a mass at a stadium. He'll later visit Papua New Guinea, Timor-Leste and Singapore. DW correspondent Georg Martis is in Jakarta. I asked him why the Pope was starting his Asia trip in one of the largest Muslim nations in the world. Interfaith harmony is really the key word for this visit of the Pope, the third visit of a Pope historically uh, to Indonesia. And Indonesia has a good pick for that topic, uh, not only because um, you have um, the largest or one of the largest Muslim populations here recently overtaken by Pakistan, but also interreligious dialogue in this country that has so many religions represented is very important. You have the biggest mosque of Southeast Asia, the Istiqlal Mosque, that the Pope will visit on Thursday um, here in Jakarta. Right opposite is a Catholic cathedral and they are connected quite symbolically uh, by a tunnel. It is there where the Pope will hold an interreligious uh, dialogue. Uh, so quite an important topic. And then, of course, you have the fact that 10% of Indonesia's population is Christian, 3% is Catholic. And if you look at a population of 270 million people, that is a substantial number. And it is, interestingly, compared to Europe's numbers that are going down, it is a number that is still growing in terms of believers. Mm -hmm. And why is the Pope not only there for religious dialogue, but also issues like climate change? Absolutely. I think climate change will be uh, another really key issue here, particularly tomorrow when he meets President Chukovi, who has already said that they will talk about uh, this topic. Uh, by the way, the Pope arrived here in a pretty standard hybrid car, uh, open window, waving at people. Um, so uh, very low key, if you want, uh, the approach here to Indonesia, a capital that is threatened by climate change. So it will be an important uh, topic. But as you have pointed out, this is only the beginning of a 12-day trip. It will be followed now by Papua New Guinea, and then to the predominantly Christian island nation of um, Timor-Leste, and finally uh, to the trading hub of Singapore. DW correspondent Georg Mattes.